Again, the highlight of activity for Flight Day 7 will be a planned five-hour spacewalk to be conducted by astronauts Vladimir Titov and Scott Parazinsky. Atlantis Mir Houston, good morning, and it's time for Scott and, and Volodya to go outside and have a good look at that wonderful world themselves. What a wonderful world indeed, Chris. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, probably can uh, find them. And if uh, I'm looking quickly now, I found the uh, one, uh, two, the controllers has uh, taken over a handover from the planning team, uh, which oversaw the crew's uh, sleep period, uh, preparing all of the uh, uplink messages and all of the uh, revisions to today's flight plan. This is Mission Control Houston in the uh, airlock of the shuttle Atlantis. Pilot Mike Bloomfield helping to uh, uh, button up uh, Scott Parazinski in his uh, extravehicular mobility unit. He will be designated EV-1 for today's uh, five-hour spacewalk. Uh, he will be wearing the suit uh, with the red stripes. His uh, colleague, Vladimir Titov, will be EV-2 wearing the suit with no stripes. This is Mission Control Houston in the airlock of the shuttle Atlantis. Mission Specialist Scott Parazinski on the left. On the right, uh, his shoulder bearing the flag of Russia. Cosmonaut uh, Vladimir Titov, who is Atlantis Mission Specialist number one. He has been uh, the loadmaster, so to speak, during the course of this mission. Titov and Parazinsky are in the process of uh, breathing pure oxygen uh, to purge the nitrogen out of their bloodstreams uh, per the protocol in these final hours prior to the start of the spacewalk.